Testing one, two, testing one, two. So guys, this is Jake with TN Tactical coming at you with another video. And today we are going to be looking at some of the top five things that came out of SHOT Show 2022 this year. Now, keep in mind, these are just the top five things that I noticed that really stood out and seemed to be really innovative. Now, your top five list might be different than mine, and that's okay. These are just the top five things I noticed at SHOT Show 2022 this year. Number five is going to be the new EOTech E-Flex Mini Reflex Sight, MRS for short. It is going to be available in a 3 or 6 MOA dot configuration. It will have one night vision setting and eight daytime settings, including an ultra bright setting that's supposed to do well in any level of brightness outside, no matter how bright it gets. Uh, it's going to have raised rubber buttons and aluminum body housing the actual red dot. It's going to be powered by a single CR2032 battery that will give you about 20,000 hours of battery life. Now the good news is that you can actually swap out the battery without removing the red dot. And it uses the Leopold Delta Point Pro footprint, which should be a pretty common plate system for modern day pistols. The best part about it is it comes in at $389, so it's a little bit cheaper than other red dots of similar configuration. That being said, it doesn't have an auto off feature, much like Hall Sun and a few other brands do. And it still doesn't have the battery life of like an aim point where you just can't kill the damn thing. So. Take it for what you will, but this is their first entry into a pistol red dot, so I'm kind of excited to see how it goes from here. Next up is the Kinnick SFX Rival. Now this is a pistol that was designed from the ground up to be an improvement for competition shooters over their previous models. It does come with two 18 round magazines that have aluminum magazine base plates. It's got an external mag well, has a custom holster, it comes with also a lot of slide serrations as you can see here, as well as a ported barrel. It does come with a fiber optic front sight, as well as an additional fiber optic, four different optic plates, as well as three different grip back straps. So it comes with a lot of different features and the best part is it is only $679.99 MSRP. So seems like a solid choice for competition. All right, now this next one is coming from Palm Mill State Armory. They are releasing a pistol chambered in 5.7. They're calling it the PSA Rock. Now, there are two different models. They both will take 23 plus one magazines. The first model is just going to be a regular flat top with the front and rear iron sights. No thrills there. But then the second model is going to feature a threaded barrel as well as RMR cuts so you can put a red dot on there as well. Uh, they're saying they're going to release this in the next 60 days. Also, they are releasing what they call the PSA Dagger Micro. It's going to be chambered in 9mm. It's about six months out from production release. They're going to take out some of the cuts at the bottom near the magwell, as well as change some of the ergonomics of the pistol itself and try to work on the trigger as well, since the original is more or less just a Glock clone. And just like the 5.7, the Micro Dagger will also have two different versions, one featuring just regular iron sights, and then one that has the threaded barrel, as well as a cutout made for different red dot optics. In addition, they say on the Micro Dagger, you will be able to co-witness with your iron sights as well. The micro will hold 15 plus one, surprisingly. So they're gonna have two different versions and they're gonna have two different price points. The standard model of each of these pistols is gonna be around $4.99 and then the optics ray version will be about $5.99. Next up I want to talk about is this 8.6 Blackout. Now this is touted as kind of like the big brother of the 300 Blackout that you commonly see in AR-15 platforms. This is designated as the same thing, but it's made for AR-10 platforms as well as Remington 700. So this thing is a huge bullet. It's based off of 6.5 Creedmoor casing. But what they're doing is they're sticking a 33 caliber bullet in there and you're going to see bullet weights around 210 to 300 grain. I got my notes here, so just bear with me. So at SHOT Show, they were shooting subsonic out to about 350 yards with like less than one MOA adjustment needed. And they were shooting the supersonic 8.6 blackout all the way out to a thousand and still maintaining that same kind of accuracy. So pretty impressive. One way they're doing this is they're using one to three twist rate barrels. So you can see right here, they've got a little bit of a 
video of a 1 to 3 twist versus a typical 1 to 8 twist in 3 hundred blackout. And then this ballistic gel, the top one shows the 1 to 3 twist and the bottom one has the 1 to 7 twist. So it's a much bigger explosion. It's allowing people to shoot these huge bullets out at a further distance. The key thing is they're shooting them out of 8 inch, 12 inch, and 16 inch barrels. The most common barrel length I saw from the footage from SHOT Show is most of these companies are making 10 inch barrels and still maintaining these extremely long distances with accuracy. Now, will this catch on? Who knows? One major criticism people have is that because it is a 33 caliber bullet, you're going to have to get a suppressor that's at like 338 Lapua basically. And that might be a deal breaker because your typical 30 caliber cans will not work with this bullet itself. Uh, there's a lot of videos on their website here. This is factsonfirearms.com that you can check out to see more from their range day and stuff. Okay, so the number one thing I saw at SHOT Show that really caught my attention is this new Franklin Armory binary trigger that's fitted for Glock 17s. Now, here's the thing. Check this out. Check this out. Now, they've SBR'd this Glock, but uh, you can see it's just like a binary trigger where it has a switch up here on the slide. We're looking at about $899. That's where we're... So... It's going to be coming out at $8.99, and this is actually a clip from uh, TFB TV on YouTube, so give them a shout out for sure. But it's just like a binary trigger like we've seen for AR-15s and other platforms, but they've made it come out for Glock now. So the key takeaway about this trigger is it's actually going to be a slide and a trigger that you get. And like they just said, it is going to come in at $8.99, but you get the trigger and the slide. It's only going to be currently made for Glock 17 Gen 3 models. What that means though is if you have like a polymer 80 or if you have like a PSA dagger that's based off Gen 3, there might be a chance that you can actually work one of these triggers with a PSA dagger frame. So that's pretty cool. I'm very excited about this. I think for $8.99 to get the trigger and the slide together, it's a heck of a good deal. So guys, that's going to do it for this video today. If you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Did you see anything at SHOT Show that you really liked? I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.